so the next thing to do will be to go and edit this section and other areas of the home page right so just click here good we want to edit the home page this area of the home page and we are starting with this picture here it doesn't represent our business and of course um, I'm sure it doesn't represent what you want to build or what you want to be on your website so you go to edit with Elementor make sure you don't click any of these because if you click before footer it's going to be something else and all of this so just click here edit with Elementor so what we practically want to do first is to remove this image and for us to remove this image we need to click on navigator and then click on section and then come to this area and click on style you'll see that this image here appears here so we need to change this image but it's a bit tricky if we change this image to something else without necessarily thinking of the size of the image it may not appear as nice as it is so let's try something else so if we just add this image here let's assume that we are using this image right you see it doesn't make sense it has really um, taken up all the space and it doesn't look good so what are we going to do I'll just press ctrl Z and return this back so what we need to do is to make sure that we have an image in mind or a picture that we want to look here whatever represents your website if you're looking for where to get images you can go to pexels.com or pixabay.com where you can get good images so for me I'm looking for uh, African wedding party image or something like that so I, I can get one of these images here that represents my my business let's say I want this image right good so let's take this image I'll download it and have it downloaded here but the next thing I need to do is to take this image to somewhere else I'll go to canva.com if you're new to canva you can sign up else you go to canva.com and type in um, profile photo profile photo now when you type in profile photo it's going to give you plenty photos here but what we want is to have the rounded shape kind of photo I'll tell you later why we need this um, so just click on see all and to pull out all the beautiful photos that look like that like profile photos so we have beautifully looking photos here but mind you do not choose any of the photos with the pro uh, icon pro icon you need to pay and of course if you finish editing you cannot download until you pay that's if you have the free version of canva but if you have um, the paid version of canva you can use any of these so with the assumption that you have a free version of canva i will you know decide to use one of these or select any of them that has a white background so let's go with this i just click these and open up a new workspace um, customize this template yes or let's use this template here yeah. you can pretty use any of them but uh, yeah customize this template yes now what we want to do is to ensure that we put in our picture in this area that is circled right but we don't need this area so you can click on this area and delete it delete all the text here and make sure that you leave just this area you can also click click on this area and remove that by clicking the delete button or backspace button on your computer then go back to here upload and upload the file from your computer it could be this file that you've used here just upload it here 
if that's what you want to use once you do that and it uploads successfully to can to canva you have it here you can just click on it and drag it to this area and boom you have an image to use here right you can as well use any image that you've uploaded if you don't like this let's say this is what you want you can drag it here and it's going to be there it's that simple so this is what we want to use i hope that it makes sense right okay fine but you see that um on our blog this image is covering the whole of this area so if we upload that image it may still cover the whole of this area so we want to make sure that we upload an image that is around here and gives this header area the space to for us to see um, some other header options here or navigations up here I'll give you an example so if we just download this straight away um, and use it so it's been downloaded here let's try something um, yeah so if you go and upload this image straight away the way it is you're not going to get the kind of result you want yeah so this is what we've uploaded if we insert it it's not going to give us the kind of result we want it will take up the whole space here and that is not beautiful right we want something that is beautiful and it doesn't take up the whole space here so what we want to do is go back to canva and play around this image so you can come here and drag this image to the corner so we want to give let's assume that this is a website where we are uploading it to we want to make sure that there's enough space up here so we just um, bring it down a bit right and then download it so you click on download and um, come down here download make sure it's on PNG and um, don't bother about transparent background and all of that these are paid options in case you're not using the premium version of Canva so download this and you have um, the option yeah good so we want to make sure that we'll probably remove the background and see whether it's going to be perfect like that so you can go to if you want to remove the background of any image you can go to remove.bg it's a website that helps you to remove background images just come here upload the image you want and this is the image that we want to remove the background here and it's going to remove the background free of charge you can only do that on canva if you have a paid version of canva and this images background is gone you can download as high definition or just download it right but i want to download it as just here so we have the image here we'll go back to canva we'll change this sorry we'll go back to wordpress um, we'll change this and upload a new image look at what we've got here upload it and now we have a new image to work with let's see if it's perfect insert media and boom there's a better image here for us can you see this there's a better image for us to work with you can use any other image that you want in this place so our website has a better image so let let me try another image and see so I just take this out and that place is empty upload a new image here and see if it's perfect okay let's insert this and see so you see there's another image here it doesn't sound look too good to me right so i'll just go with the previous image and yeah we are good to go so this image makes sense and it represents this website um good now we can come down to this section and um, edit this let's say welcome to 
kurzer. You can also change this if you want. Go to style and then change this color if you want to something else, maybe red. So you change it there and increase it here. Welcome to quarter. If you don't like it, you can take it to blue back and there. That's it. So you can change this to what you like. Uh, we can call these um, whatever we want. Wedding planning. Website. If this text is too big, just click on this area, come to style and look for topography. Click here and um, in come here and you see, you're going to have what you want. Good. Wedding planning website. You can also change the font to what you want. This is default. You can change it to Arial if you want. This looks better. You can also increase this. Click on typography and um, increase this to whatever you want. Right? Make sure to click down here and see how it looks on um, mobile. It should look great on mobile. Right? See it here. Wedding planning website. So if you're done with that section, we can just come here and add some text here. What do we want to call this website? So I'll just paste some text here. So I'll paste some text here. I'll see here we provide tips on how to plan your wedding or other events. Find the right suppliers, vendors, and avoid unnecessary expenses. Right? We can bold these if you want or click here and still go back to typography and increase the size we want or change it to area something like that so this contact us button we are going to work on it later this area here is talking about as featured in as featured in have you been featured in any magazine or website before you want to show it here but if you've not been featured in i've not been featured in any wedding magazine if you've been featured you can add it here but it's not i don't think this is necessary so we can just take this out and then take the whole of this out click on this place and take the whole of this place out and that's it so we're done with these areas of the block we can go down here on this place and talk about something else so this place here could be something about you the owner of this blog so this blog is a wedding blog so i'll, I'll assume that um, this is a couple blog or people who are talking about weddings so just click on this icon here and change it to you or something that is um, related to you so i'll just upload an image of a couple So this uploaded here and boom we we'll added here so it's gonna appear here beautifully looking right that's actually me and my wife so what we're gonna write here I, I can just say we goodness and um, Ferdinand Anok. Co founders. Right? Anything that represents your website. Or you can just write your name in your case. Then we bold this. We want this to look bold. Um, here. Bold this if you want. You can come here, click on typography, and increase it co-founders co 
so all right so if you want to go back to the to the text come to content and um, correct it here that's it we want to add some text here yeah so i've just said wedding planning can come with anxiety but we are here to help um i can just come to this area put it at the center put it here or click here to make it like this so whichever front area whichever way you want it to look like i can also come up here to style click on typography change it to Arial and um, work on this size so that it doesn't look too big you know and all of that so I think I don't need this area here I'm going to take it out so I right click and come down to delete you can put some text here again you want if you want I'll be right back I'll post some text here So I've text I've placed some text here and I've said when that when you are planning an event many factors come to play this could range from having limited funds budgeting or difficulty in finding the right vendors we have many resources here to help you with your journey yours could be anything at all so just paste any text there you can also um, click here Control A to highlight all and bold the text um, if you want to increase the font size you can come here typography and just play around the font size make sure it looks great and change this if you want to any other font type typography Arial can be can be better so once you're good with what you're doing you can come here and click on update so that it saves whatever you're doing once you've saved it you can click on this preview changes with the i button and it's going to show you what your website looks like so this looks great we'll continue the customization to this area here